Thank you for tuning into another video from JRM Recaps. Spoilers ahead. The movie begins with a Bible quote from Nahum 3 verse 6, I will cast abominable filth upon you, make you vile, and make you a spectacle. The first thing we see is a bloody chimpanzee meandering around an untidy sitcom set. This will make sense later in the film. Otis Haywood Sr. and his son, Otis Jr., referred to as O.J., start their day by tending to the horses at their Hollywood ranch, Haywood's Hollywood Horses. In the background, a radio discusses the strange vanishing of two hikers. Before long, the power goes out, and after shouts are heard from the sky, litter begins tumbling down as well. A coin falls through Otis Sr.'s eye, killing him. O.J. attempts to get him to the medical clinic without success. Afterward, when showing up back at the ranch, O.J. sees a key pierced into one of the horses. The opening credits are displayed alongside a green square, later zooming into the very first film of a person of color riding a horse. Half a year after the incident, O.J. waits around for his sister Emerald, referred to as M, on a film set where one of their horses, Lucky, is to be utilized for a commercial shot by cinematographer Antlers Holst. Emerald before long shows up and helps make sense of the security precautions of shooting with Lucky, likewise referencing that the person of color on the horse in the movie is her and OJ's great, great, great granddad. Be that as it may, the staff disregards them and disrespects the horse's limits, making it respond fiercely. The Haywoods are terminated from the project, with a VFX horse supplanting Lucky instead. With the farm battling monetary issues, the Haywoods go to meet Ricky Jupe Park, a one-time kid entertainer who possesses a western-themed amusement park called Jupiter's Claim, to sell Lucky to him. During the gathering, Jupe recollects a Saturday Night Live sketch based on a damaging incident during his kid acting career, when a chimpanzee went wild on the set of the sitcom Gordy's Home. Jupe offers to purchase the Haywood Ranch, and M later urges OJ to agree to the offer. That evening, M describes to OJ about how Otis Sr. guaranteed M that she would train her first horse named Jean Jacket, despite the fact the horse would later turn out to be utilized for a film, which ended up picking another animal anyway. M sees that Ghost, another horse of theirs, was surprisingly out in the field. Beginning from here, the movie is separated into chapters, each title alluding to the animals in the movie. This chapter is titled Ghost. OJ goes to the field and tracks down Ghost. Out of nowhere, he sees something from a long way off, a few lights and a voice playing on the speakers. The lights and the voice gradually switch off, and Ghost escapes into the field. OJ sees Ghost running off and vanishing while the other horses act viciously on the ranch. As the power of the Haywood home switches off for a couple of moments, OJ sees a flying saucer overhead in the sky. OJ depicts it as large and speedy to M. The two purchased a few cameras the following day at Fry's Electronics, looking to be famous from the recording, where an employee, Angel Torres, tells them that he'll assist with setting up the cameras, speculating that the Haywoods may be in a UFO hotspot. Later on, he visits the ranch to do so, depicting his viewpoint on extraterrestrials in the process. M leaves quickly and gets back with a stolen display horse from Jupiter's claim, planning to utilize it as a trap. Jupe later shows up at the ranch to interrogate M about the display horse, yet she lies her way out of it. Jupe tries to welcome the Haywoods to an event, however his flyer is taken away by the breeze. He then leaves. This chapter is titled Clover. That evening, the cameras and the fake horse are set up. OJ sees that somebody let another horse, Clover, out. He then comes across what is by all accounts numerous extraterrestrials. At the point when one of them sneaks behind OJ, he hits it right in the face, just to discover it's a kid. The extraterrestrials are uncovered to be Jupe's kids, provoking him for stealing their display horse. Afterward, OJ goes to track down Clover, however the UFO shows up and sucks up the bait horse, which becomes stuck making Clover take off. Angel, covertly watching their cameras at Fry's, lets him know that the UFO is in the cloud, and M yells at OJ to run. OJ figures out how to stow away securely, yet witnesses Clover getting sucked up as well. They neglect to get the recording they need, 
as a praying mantis had hindered the view on a camera that remained online, not impacted by the UFO. M advises OJ that they need to leave, however he lets her know that there's something more to this than they can imagine, and convinces her to remain and continue on with the plan. The following day, Angel shows up at the ranch once more, making sense that he rewinded through their recording and found a cloud that never moves, which may be the UFO's concealing spot. M contacts Antlers and attempts to get him to go along with them, however he declines, asserting that they'd never awaken from this fantasy about being famous. OJ contemplates whether the UFO isn't a ship. This chapter is titled Gordy. It is 1998. A young jupe and his colleague entertainers act in an episode for the sitcom Gordy's Home, titled Gordy's Birthday. During a scene where balloons are let go in the room, they begin popping, startling the chimpanzee playing Gordy, who begins to go wild and assaults the human stars. Jupe stows away under a table, sees a shoe standing up on its own, which he would later show off on display, and looks as co-stars Mary Jo Elliott and Tom Bogan get assaulted by the chimpanzee who quiets down in the wake of finishing the assaults. The chimpanzee sees Jupe and goes near him, utilizing sign language to ask what has transpired with the family. The chimpanzee puts his fist out for the duo's notorious fist bump, however before their connection, the chimpanzee is shot dead. Back to present time, Jupe contemplates the slaughter. His significant other, Amber, motivates him to get ready for an upcoming event, and assists him with recounting his lines. This chapter is titled Lucky. While Angel sets up canvases for an incoming storm, OJ finds Jupe's flyer promoting the Star Lasso experience. Concluding that this could include Lucky, he goes to Jupiter's claim to recover him. Meanwhile, the Star Lasso experience is beginning. Jupe informs the crowd regarding a night where he saw the UFO, and guarantees that they will leave differently in the wake of seeing the performance. The UFO shows up sooner than expected. Jupe uncovers a glass box that contains Lucky, intended to be sucked up for the show. Lucky will not leave the container, and the UFO shows up over the crowd, which includes Mary Jo Elliott, whose face has been deformed from the Gordy escapade. The camera centers around Jupe's stunned appearance as the shadows behind him portray the crowd being sucked up by the UFO. The interior of the UFO is shown, and it is uncovered to be an extraterrestrial itself, with the green square from the opening credits being its eye. Consequently, Jupe, his family, and the crowd are swallowed by the extraterrestrial, while yelling and the crushing of bones are heard in the backdrop. OJ shows up at the vacant Jupiter's claim and tracks down Lucky. Before the extraterrestrial comes back and attempts to suck OJ up he is stuck and rendered unconscious by the stands of the arena. He awakens around evening time and sees Lucky unharmed, prior to putting the horse into his truck and heading off towards the ranch. He calls M and cautions her that the UFO is really a predatory extraterrestrial who sees the ranch and its surrounding parts as its domain, while Angel, attempting to leave the ranch, is required to look for shelter in the house. The extraterrestrial shows up over the Haywood house and heaves blood and garbage, to M and Angel shock. OJ shows up at the house yet his truck is shut down before he can get there, and the extraterrestrial goes over the truck and vomits out the display horse. The following morning, OJ gets M and Angel to escape in Angel's truck, and the extraterrestrial shows up once more. Remembering the previous occurrence with Lucky on the commercial set, OJ doesn't take a gander at the extraterrestrial and figures out how to live through the confrontation. They accomplish giving away effectively and go to Angel's condo. That evening, while having supper, OJ makes sense that the extraterrestrial feels tested when individuals look at it and then eats them. Meanwhile, Antlers hears a news report about the vanishing of the Star Lasso Experience's crowd, and chooses to join OJ, M, and Angel. The following day, he visits their home and they start to develop a plan. Antlers will bring an old-fashioned camera that will not be rendered useless by the extraterrestrial, presently called Jean Jacket. The team will utilize tube man props to figure out where the extraterrestrial is. M will watch the area utilizing cameras, and OJ will lure Jean Jacket. This chapter is titled Jean Jacket. The following day comes and the scheme is set into motion. 
In any case, Ryder Mybridge, a TMZ journalist, illegally enters the area and stumbles off his motorcycle when Jean Jacket shuts it off. OJ tries to save Ryder but is forced to leave him to die when Jean Jacket shows up. OJ is able to draw away the extraterrestrial, assisting Antlers with recording it. However, Antlers concludes that the world doesn't warrant the recording, and allows himself to be killed by Jean Jacket, ruining the recording in the process. After M and Angel endure their confrontation with Jean Jacket, it begins to unfurl into a colossal jellyfish-like configuration. After M and OJ salute one another, M utilizes Ryder's motorcycle to drive towards Jupiter's claim, while OJ lures Jean Jacket away. When arriving at Jupiter's claim, M untethers the park's massive balloon mascot and utilizes the winking well, an attraction that has an analog camera, to catch a photograph of Jean Jacket as it eats the balloon mascot. The balloon and Jean Jacket blow up, and after shouting in victory, M rests near the winking well. As journalists show up, M stands up, shuts her eyes, and opens them again to see OJ riding Lucky, showing up from the mist. The movie closes with a shot of the photo of Jean Jacket. Thank you for watching our recap. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. Also, try some of our other videos displayed on screen.